Today on My Life on the Deck, I'm putting together my brand new outdoor patio heater. As you can see, it's pictured here. I was thinking about getting one to hook up to the natural gas, but decided to get one with a propane tank. This way I can move it around our patio and our deck with no problems. So we've got everything out of the box now. You can see that's the base and of course the most important, the burner. And here's the wicker basket that's going to hide the propane tank. As you can see, it's a pretty darn close match to the wicker furniture, which is a very nice. We've got the tube, then the reflector at the top, the hardware, and of course something to make it really easy for us to move this thing around, we've got the wheels. I think I found the first problem. There's a warning here, so make sure you read it carefully. Hopefully we can find someone competent enough to put this puppy together. And I think we found him! We found Casper! A competent installer! Uh oh, he's gone now. For the post support, it's got three different parts that come in to connect to it. So what I did first off is just with the bolt, just put them all in, just sort of hand tighten them so they're still loose. And that makes it a lot easier to get all the different bolts, all, everything all connected up. And now I'm just going to tighten it all down. Well, we're making some good progress here. Got the whole base unit is now assembled. So now looking at doing the heater, getting the gas line hooked up, and then also the top part, the reflector. Here's some funny looking bolts. They're actually reflector pins, and I'll show you where those go right now. And here's those three reflector pins. As you can see, they go on the top of the burner, and then what they do is they actually mount to the reflector. So this is going to keep the reflector off of the burner. And so far, the trickiest part is actually when running the hose up from the bottom all the way up that post. It was a bit tricky at the uh, middle there. And then now I just had to connect it right into the burner. And we now have the burner on the top. It's not in the instruction manual, but if you've got this blue film plastic on, make sure you move it. Now here's the three sides that the reflector attached. And it's actually important to attach these first before you actually attach the top section. And the reason why is because the top section is going to attach through those bolt holes there. And as you can see, it's actually the two pieces of metal. It's the one bolt's going to go through. So that's why you want to have the reflector sort of assembled before you put the, the final top piece on over there on the very top. And here's uh, one other important thing to note is the attachment of how you put in the bolt and the nut. You actually want the nut piece on the top and here is the fully assembled reflector. Leanne had a really good idea too, to put the top hat on. The reflector got a ladder out, so very handy. As you can see now, the propane tank is uh, inside the unit, and it's all connected up. And we're ready to start it, which is great, because the sun's gone down, and it's getting a little cool out. It's time to get some warmth on this deck. And here we go, we've got heat. So the outdoor propane heater is all assembled, clean up lots of nice heat. Now it's time for a nice cold beverage on this nice warm deck. And for more information on outdoor projects, check out my website, mylifeonthedeck.com. Today on My Life on the Deck, I'm putting together my brand new outdoor patio heater. As you can see, it's pictured here. I was thinking about getting one to hook up to the natural gas, but decided to get one with a propane tank. This way I can move it around our patio and our deck with no problems. So we've got everything out of the box now. You can see that's